Terry Shuff from Home Lumber in New Haven. Today we're going to spend a moment reviewing how to remove and clean the solid glass door in front of a direct vent fireplace. You're going to find that you're going to need to remove the door to clean it after your initial break-in period of the fireplace. First thing you do on a direct vent, make sure it is shut off so it's cool when you're performing this. Just lift the grill upward, out, and remove it. On the back side of the grill, you'll see little finger brackets. They mate into the mating slots here on the fireplace. Remove the bottom grill the same way. They have an offset finger bracket on both sides of it. Those brackets engage in the mating slots on the body of the fireplace. At the top of the bottom opening, you will find anywhere from two to three retainers. Unsnap those retainers. When you do that, you'll find the door will swing out slightly. Then lift up on the door and remove it. Once you've removed it, now it's time to clean. Your door is gasketed with a high temperature fiberglass gasket, so when it's installed back in place, it gives you an airtight seal. Uh, to clean the inside of a glass, manufacturers recommend use of a glass cleaner that does not have ammonia, because that ammonia over time will create a white residue on the glass. Use something such as vinegar and water in a 50-50 mixture. Also, after your initial break-in period, within the next two to three weeks, remove the glass and clean it because the components that you burn off are cured, such as manufacturing oils and the paints, will emit some residue that will deposit on the back side of the glass. And when you do it, lay your door down on the carpet on a rug, a blanket, so you're not scratching it. Clean the inside, wipe it off good. You may have to go over it a couple times, and you should be doing this within two to three weeks after your initial break-in. Dry it with paper towels or soft rags. Observe your gasket around the perimeter. Make sure it's not frayed or torn. Once you're assured that everything is the way it should be, very simple to put the door back in place. The gasket does seal on the front face of the fireplace, so you've got an airtight firebox. To put it on, lift it up, put it in place, center your door, reattach, and snap your latches at the bottom. And you've got an airtight firebox. Take your grill that you previously removed, make sure that the offset bracket is pointing downward so you're engaging the brackets into the mating brackets on the fireplace. And then do the same thing with your top. Once you've completed this, you're now ready for happy trouble-free use of the fireplace for the upcoming heating season.